But we do know that removing the teeth in some cases, in a lot of cases, can be life changing. Hey guys, my name is Dan. I'm a veterinarian and stomatitis in the kitty cat. Stomatitis, guys, is wild. My cat has no teeth because I pulled all of her teeth out when she was young because she was incredibly painful and it was incredibly hard to watch and be uncomfortable. Today, I'm gonna walk you through what stomatitis is, what I do as a veterinarian, what your veterinarian may do, and what to expect. Like, expectations, guys. Expectations are paramount, especially when we're talking about full mouth extractions. Stomatitis, guys, is inflammation in the mouth. And usually you will see gums, gingivitis. The gums are all red around the teeth. You will see, um, you can see palate lesions. The hard palate and the soft palate has ulcers on it. The back of the throat, you'll see big ulcers. And the kitty is just so, so incredibly uncomfortable. These ulcers, we believe, we believe it is, um, it is a response to the teeth, like the enamel, and it is like an autoimmune response. So the gums are just flaring up from the teeth. And then of course, if you have that many ulcers and lesions in the mouth, the mouth is not a very clean place because we're eating and licking and doing stuff like that. And that can lead to infection. So you have infected ulcers in the mouth and this cat's feel just atrocious some of them guys will will chatter some of them will drool some of them won't eat they'll get really skinny some of them won't even groom themselves so they'll get big fur mats and they just look really unthifty and unkept stomatitis can show up incredibly young in life stomatitis can be seen in cats that are all oh, seven, eight months of age, uh, I, I can, it can spontaneously develop. And it's, it's super idiopathic. We don't know why it happens. We have these, we have these uh, hypotheses and these possibilities. But the thing is, even after we do some of our treatments, guys, the, if, if it truly was all about the teeth, they would all magically get better. But the thing is, not all of them do get better. So we don't know exactly why. So what your veterinarian is going to do is first, they're going to do a physical exam. If your cat's too painful, they may sedate your cat to look in the mouth. And once they do that, they can diagnose a stomatitis. Stomatitis, again, it's inflammation and it's infection and it just hurts so much. Uh, I know our cat, Scabs, yeah, her name's Scabs. <laughs> She's a good cat. They, she used to drool a lot and she would make funny gestures when she swallowed because it just hurt so much. I remember one time, guys, I put a camera on her just to like keep an eye on her. And she just sat there one day for like an hour, just drooling. And I was like, I told my wife um, back then, I was like, honey, like, we got to get more aggressive. She's so painful. So I was pretty, I was a rookie veterinarian back then. I was a rookie. And that does not mean that I was, that I was like anything amazing. But I knew what to do at that point. So I went in and I extracted her, all of her teeth and they, Guys, they were they were they were not in there very good. They were that too. That mouth was all gummy, and and soft and squishy. So I pulled all the teeth out. Uh, I X-rayed, and all the teeth are gone. And and you know what? She did not get better right away. So if let me just backtrack a little bit before we consider doing surgery like that, your veterinarian will probably recommend an antibiotic for the secondary infection, and your veterinarian will probably recommend some sort of anti-inflammatory medicine. Some of them may do an NSAID. Most of them are going to do a steroid because we do believe that some kind of autoimmune um, factor to it and a steroid is going to suppress that. Also, all the inflammation, we need to suppress that too. Steroids and antibiotics, the way you think about it is they are an excellent, an excellent band-aid. They can, they can provide comfort and relief for months at a time, if not years, but nobody's going to tell you that it's a solution. It's not a solution, but it is a great Band-Aid. Once you are ready and you feel like, and, your vet, and the veterinarian you see feels comfortable with it, the next step would be a full mouth extraction to some degree. Usually I start off, guys, by removing every tooth behind the canines. And if the canines and the incisors are included, in the inflammation problem, I just go in and take everybody. But if the incisors, the front teeth, and the canines look healthy, I leave them. And I had one recently, guys, where I went in and I took every tooth behind the canines, and that cat came back in and it was doing stupendous. It made my day, it made my week, made my month too. But anyway, it looked great. Now, 
removing all the teeth does not, does not guarantee success, does not guarantee remission of the stomatitis. When we worked on scabs, I took all her teeth. She was better, but she was not great. I kept her on steroids and antibiotics, uh, pulse therapy to keep her comfortable uh, for about three years. And then one magical time, I'd wait till she got uncomfortable, then I'd you know, give her some medicine again. Um, and when I say that, I mean like most of these treatments are last for months at a time. Um, or we do orals and we tape her off and see how she does. But she was she would she would show discomfort. And I'd look in her mouth and she would have problems. She'd have lesions again. I'd start on medicine again. But scabs one at one point, about three years in, she didn't need the medicine anymore. She went into full remission, she was comfortable. And guys, she has not been on medicine for about ten years now. If you do the math, she's about, about 13. But um, she was comfortable. So she'd been off for a long time. So I tell everybody, if you do a full-month extraction, there is a chance we will resolve the problem and you will have a healthy, comfortable kitty, and it will be magical. There is a possibility, too. We'll do a full-month extraction, and we'll start with the teeth behind the canines, and we won't get better. And then maybe the canines and incisors will be affected, and then we'll pull those. And then it'll be magical or you won't get better. Your veterinarian should never guarantee that a full month extraction will solve the problem. We do not know why stomatitis is so incredibly hard to manage or control, but we do know that removing the teeth in some cases, in a lot of cases, can be life changing. I know it sounds grisly. I know it sounds intense. I know some of you are going to be like, oh man, that sounds horrible. Dan, you are just horrible for removing those teeth. What's horrible is not doing anything. Looking at this cat, be uncomfortable and drool and be un just all that. You know what I mean? Like if I had the problem, pull my teeth out. Like that is fine. I can, I can, I can eat, you know, soft burritos. I love burritos. By not doing anything, you are making a medical decision to allow that kitty to be uncomfortable or to allow it to be on chronic steroids or antibiotics for life. And that is not super fair. So if we can make a decision that there is a chance, there is a good chance too, we will greatly improve this cat's life by removing the teeth, get it done. You can remove the teeth and then that gives you a good chance. Now, it may be magical, like right away, all of a sudden it's gone and we are healthy. Or maybe like scabs, like our kitty. It took years to clean up. But it never would have cleaned up if we would have left those teeth in. Some kitties, you pull them all, and I've had a couple of these cases, and they are still rough to this very day. Those cases really bother me. You do everything possible to make them feel better, and they're still uncomfortable. And those are the ones that, yeah, you, you, we keep giving more and some of them guys I haven't come back in and I'll like discount it severely or I'll comp it completely and be like let's just let's just put this kitty under an x-ray and make sure I didn't leave, leave any roots or anything and there's nothing in there like we did everything possible we did everything right that's the thing guys with medicine you can do everything right and still have a bad outcome because um we're just people and we work really hard and we're really passionate and we read a lot of books, but in the end, we're just people, you know, we're not, um, we're not God. We can't come in here and just fix everything right away. And we do our best though. So if your kitty has stomatitis, listen to your veterinarian. If you're not sure, if you're uncomfortable with what they're recommending, get a second opinion. If you want to go see a veterinary dentist, there's usually one in most big towns, Omaha is not a big town, but we got one here. And go see them and get their opinion. If they're like, yeah, pull the teeth, but you can't afford them, go back to your regular vet and have them pull the teeth. It is a long procedure, and it is a lot of work for your veterinarian, and it is expensive. All right, guys, if this was helpful, please consider sharing and commenting. Honestly, if you would do anything, I think sharing would be great. Like, subscribers are great, but sharing would be cool. Alright guys, take care. My name is Dan. I'm a veterinarian. Appreciate you. Bye.